Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back to Cold Waters. Of course, we're playing as a U.S. submarine during the Cold War. So if you want to see more of this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Let me know you want to see more. Get her up to a thousand likes, folks, for this fantastic game. It's nice to see naval warfare, actually, around the Cold War. It's not quite often you get to play as a submarine in these games. And day gum, look at that. You get to play as a U.S. Uh, nuclear-class submarine. Los Angeles there is what I think we'll be playing as today here. So we're going to go into the missions. We're going to do a one-on-one -on -one duel against a Soviet-era submarine. So let's Let's see exactly uh, what happens here. We can, uh, of course, choose what type of submarine we want to take into a battle. Uh, there's the Skipjack, the Permit Class, Sturgeon, LA, and uh, Norwal. And we're going to just go ahead and take the uh, Los Angeles Class Nuclear Attack Submarine. So let's get started. And, uh, of course, yep, congratulations on your command, that kind of thing. All right, <clears throat> very good. So without further delay, uh, let's see. We're going to take a look at status report. We've got uh, 12 Mark 48 torpedoes. Uh, a couple of UGMs and a noisemaker, a few other things. Very good. All damage is good to go. And it looks like, uh, let's see, Captain, we have a new sonar contact. Bearing 178, designate Sierra 1. Exo reports, local conditions are broken calm. Uh, weak surface duct, very weak surface layer, or thermal layer. All right. So this is very beautiful. By the way, this game has a full campaign, single-player missions as well, where we can take on enemy destroyers. We can take on enemy uh, super battle carriers and all sorts of different just types of crazy stuff. And it's really cool. So both uh, two campaigns available in 84 and 68. And the single-player missions, which we'll be doing here, we're already into it. So con, new uh, sonar contact, 178, designate 01. So we've got uh, contact here off our, uh, oh, wait. Well, maybe d directly in front of us. Depends on if he turns or not. So let's get right into it. So, just like when the, with a submarine, of course, we're below the surface of the water. And if there was anything up here, we wouldn't be able to see it anyway unless we went up to periscope depth and was able to uh, or got close enough to actually see the hull of the ship or to actually hear it. So let's get in here and do a little bit of searching of this Soviet submarine. We're going to see exactly what it has to offer. So we can go into a faster uh, mode as well. We can also just see, um, you know, the, the sonar uh, range of the... Uh, of the uh, target here or of, of the contact and it looks like this is a contact S1. Let's take a look at the signature. Looks like it identifies as a Typhoon SSBN so we do have a ballistic uh, missile carrying uh, uh, submarine here and so we're gonna have to eliminate that right away. So our LA class we're in a one-on-one -on -one with a nuclear class submarine. Gotta stop it before it tries to destroy America. Can't allow that boys. Can't allow that. So we're gonna just move into position. Now if we move too fast we'll start uh, creating bubbles behind our uh, behind our uh, prop and that that's going to just uh, give away our position immediately so we need to move slow it's called the silent service for a reason and after playing this game a little bit i got really inspired to watch a lot more uh gaming footage and such about other submarine games and also uh footage of what life is like on a submarine and yeah they get a lot they, they're probably the best uh, uh fed uh group in the navy or at least in the armed forces and for good reason because you're underwater and uh, you're basically separated from your family for like 60 plus days at a time could be could be a month could be three months could be a year who, who knows the only thing that stops these submarines is their limit of food otherwise they have an unlimited supply of water and an unlimited supply of fuel with it being a uh, obviously a nuclear submarine all right we're now turning towards this uh, enemy craft at uh, bearing uh, 180 it seems almost 180 looks like 181 and we're going to uh, try to close in on it. We have to, uh, yep, we're getting a little little sonar blip here of, uh, of, of uh, detecting it. They might be trying to ping us, uh, but it looks like we might be coming up behind it. So we're going to try to speed up as, uh, as fast as we can here. It looks like we're very close, actually, so we, we don't want to do that. So let's keep uh, closing in now. Uh, it's very, uh, during the campaign, it's really exciting because sometimes you need to slip through an enemy sonar net and uh, you're trying to evade, and sometimes just being evading and, uh, and stealthful is a lot. Is that a word? Stealth? I, I would assume it is. Anyway, we're trying to be stealth. That's what a submarine's for. Look at that, man. We can. I, I love being able to fire missiles from the surface, too, by the way. There's uh, surface uh, fired uh, ASMs as well, so you can go up to the surface of the uh, of the ocean and, and start firing at the enemy. So, all right, let's take a look here. Where's the enemy at? Looks like he's uh, still kind of going away from us. If we go any faster than this, if we go ahead to two thirds, we're going to start creating bubbles, I believe. We need to be careful. I think we can go ahead at two thirds without creating bubbles but uh, yeah sometimes depending on the uh, surface tension the water different types of reports um, you do need to be careful about uh, how close you are to the surface the closer to the surface of the water the slower you have to go otherwise you'll create uh, bubbles and waves and such and the enemy might detect you looks like oh we just got them looks like we got their depth it's uh, 800 almost 900 so we're gonna go down dive 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 and we need to come up behind the back of the vector 2 all right, let's go ahead and swing around then. We're going to try to go down at 30. We, we really need to plunge to get up to these guys. So let's go ahead and start turning and burning, baby. 
All right, so it uh, looks like we're passing 200 feet now. Yeah, it's not very exciting when you, when you can't see any surface ships or anything like that, and, and when you're below the water, you, it kind of just seems like you're standing still. But uh, rest assured, it is pretty exciting to be able to fire a torpedo. It's like fishing. Once you hit an enemy, uh, once you get a hit on an enemy sub, it's really satisfying. All right, we're going to try to close in on this guy. He's definitely uh, trying to hit us with the, uh, with the uh, sonar for sure. We're trying to uh, get just to the back of him and uh, engage him. So let's take take that signature look again. Looks like that is the signature of the Typhoon. We're getting uh, closer to it. Stores again. Uh, we do have noisemakers. If uh, if we're trying to avoid uh, enemy um, sonar or possibly listening posts, we can fire a few of those. Though I haven't really had any success of uh, kind of deterring the enemy of finding me. The Soviets are very crafty, uh, and when they come in high numbers, that's when it gets troublesome. All right, so I think we made a good turn here to try to engage him. And uh, we just need to get down to his depth so we can fire torpedoes. Otherwise, we're going to, uh, you know, fire over the top of him, and that's not good. So we do need to wait until we're at about 900 feet. And we can start slowing down here shortly. So as you can see as well, there there is, uh, for example, if we were near the coast, there would be uh, areas of the coast or even water that we could hide under, or ice, I should say, that we could hide under for the water. So let's go ahead and continue to close down onto him. Looks like we're almost at 800 feet, so let's start leveling off. We're going to go down to about 10 and uh, we're almost even with this guy. So let's go ahead and level off right now. We're almost at 900 feet. Anything below that, it's going get, to start getting real dangerous. And uh, this is about the operating depth, at least it seems, for some of these. Uh, <laughs> we're almost 1,000 feet below water. That's crazy, uh, below the surface here. All right, we're going to try to catch up to this Vector 2. Let's go ahead and make sure we're at... Uh, co oh, it looks like he's changing course a bit. We can fire torpedoes now, but I'd like to get a little closer to him and see what he does. It looks like we might be a little bit below him, but uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, where he's going up a bit. And we can easily adjust from here. So plane is plus 10. And you can see over on the left side, there's our course, our speed, depth, rudder, plane, and ballast. And uh, different types of, uh, of course, different types of values make you speed up differently and slow down. Let's get ready to engage with this torpedo, though. He looks like to be going up to about 800 now. He's trying to adjust his uh, depth and such, trying to m maneuver away from us. I don't think they've detected us yet, otherwise they would have fired their torpedo but he could swing around at any moment and try to engage us. We're going to stay right about here. Now we can speed up time a little bit, so let's go ahead and do that and get close to that uh, that Kami. Remember, we're playing in 84, so anything's possible here. We've leveled out a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Oh, all right, so we're going to, uh, let's speed up time then. And it uh, looks like we're passing 800 feet. We're still going up a little bit as we're, oh, he's getting ready to engage. He's going to turn and burn us here. So let's get ready to uh, fire torpedoes. Fire torpedo one. All right, torpedo is away. He's going to turn to try to engage us now. I, I believe he's detected us. So now we need to stay with this torpedo. It's a wired guided torpedo, and we want to be able to make sure that we stay with it uh, so that way we can guide it into the target. So that torpedo is making its way towards the Soviet uh, vessel. Let's go ahead and take a look now at the torpedo as it's closing in. We can make a few adjustments to our uh, torpedo. Looks Wait, did they fire their torpedo as well? They may have fired a torpedo. Let's take a look. Looks like they have not. We're actually This is our, our torpedo height. Looks like they're trying to adjust their uh, depth a little bit, so we will do the same with our torpedo. We're going to go ahead and aim, aim him down a little bit and uh, see if we can get up to this guy. So we now need to find that enemy uh, submarine. Let's go ahead and slow down. Uh, ahead, one-third, uh, maneuvering eye. Very good. So I like I like how the crew uh, works with you and everything like that. I like how they give different uh, voice emotes, and so, or not voice emotes, but uh, I like how they acknowledge their orders and such. This submarine could have already detected this sub uh, the uh, torpedo in the submarine. I, I want to make sure he doesn't turn to engage us. When he was turning like that, I, I was feeling like he was going to make a full circle, shoot, and then circle back the way he came. So we'll see exactly what happens here very shortly. I want to see this torpedo run into our target. Let's see what happens. Looks like he's trying to get out of the way a little bit. Yeah, just keep going this way. There we go. All right, let's see on our... Uh, oh, yeah, we're about halfway to the target. Let's speed her up a little bit. See if we can get a kill on this Victor 2, which is going to be that uh, Typhoon class. All right, we're getting with an operation of that. Uh, so basically, it's, it's basically guiding it to an operational area, and then it's going to go on patrol. So let's go ahead and activate our uh, thing here and turn to the left. There she goes. She's got her. All right, the Soviets are now being tracked by our own torpedo. Let's get up to, uh, let's go ahead and do two-thirds. We'll go to uh, rudder five uh, degrees. All right, so now we've got a track on that Soviet submarine. You might not be able to see it, but we're closing in right behind it. This is going to be a very intense moment. I wonder if we're going to be able to destroy that uh, bastard with one hit. All right, there he is off in the distance. There we go. Cont oh, Victor 2 is uh, gallivating, which means he's creating bubbles. 
So now we can do the same as well. Looks like we got them where we want them. All ahead full. Let's go ahead and maneuver in at uh, 10 rudder. All right, there we go. We should be good to go. Yep, we're closing in very close to that enemy sub. All right, looks like our torpedo is... Uh, what? Okay, apparently we... Oh, we don't have command of it anymore. The wire is too far. Uh, wire break on the weapon. So he should have a sonar lock onto that enemy submarine, though. So just any moment. I just want to make sure our submarine's heading in the right direction here. Let's take a look. All right, everything looks to be good. Here's the enemy submarine. Soviet submarine trying to evade our torpedo. Check that out. Six torpedo tubes at the front of their ship. And uh, let's see. Oh, it looks like apparently they're working for Umbrella Incorporated. There's, uh, I think this could, this should be able to fire ballistics. Uh, oh, I, uh, maybe a typhoon is uh, is uh, not a uh, actual nuclear attack. So, well, it is in terms of, uh, ooh, looks like our torpedo kind of vectored off. He should have kept chasing him. He may have lost the target. All right, let's keep zooming in on him. And let's uh, let's speed up then. Yeah, we, we're we're definitely uh, we've given away our position as well, but the game's over. We know we're here. So do they? So uh, yes. Yeah, so that submarine at least is a nuclear class attack submarine. Um, oh there. Oh oh damn. Oh we, oh we got him. Oh damn. Oh we got him right in the ass. Wow, he didn't get out of there. Oh there goes those Soviets. No way. He's going down, folks. That's it. She almost made it up to the surface. This is escape depth. The crew could be able to escape. Wow, she's going to hit the bottom. I hope those guys make it out. I mean, you know, all respect to those guys. They fought fought well. They didn't get a chance to fire. You can see all the oil and uh, all the leaking and such. We hit her right in the ass, and uh, she's going straight down now, unfortunately, for them. Look at that. She's going to hit the bottom here any moment. She's going to be a real long fall for that submarine. I don't know if we can actually zoom our camera. I think we can only get to where we hit that submarine. Oh, there we go. We can lock in on it again. She's going straight to the bottom. That's it. Interesting tactics of the Soviets, how they build their submarines. Very interesting. A huge hit on the back uh, back of the ship here. It must have exploded near the... Oh, there's like s uh, secondary rudders and such? Or Very interesting. Very complex uh, submarines. I just want to see it hit the bottom here so we can uh, celebrate for our kill. Very nice. Now we can also try it with different submarines as well, different types of classes and such. This is probably a submarine built in what looks to be like the 50s or 60s. Not very advanced. I don't know. Maybe it, I don't think it can fire. A no, I can't. It's not a vertical launch submarine. There are different types of, like that, but the Typhoon is definitely a fearful attack submarine. And with the ability to fire six torpedoes in the front and only R4. Well, there you go. All right. Now she's finally touching the bottom. And that's it. So she's going to bubble out. The crew has uh, probably escaped. It is below uh, escape death now. Uh, depth, I should say. Death is, yes, all that will await those men now, unfortunately. All right, well, there you go. That's the basics of uh, submarine warfare here in cold waters, and definitely it is. So let's go ahead and have our celebratory, um, let's surface like a BA right here. We're heading full speed. Let's see what happens now as our submarine uh, hits the surface. So we've eliminated that enemy submarine. It's gone. It's dead. No more uh, presence of the Soviets here in the area. And you can see the patterns in which we both drove. I basically went straight ahead, adjusted, sped up a little bit to fire my torpedo, and he tried to haul ass out of there, but it got him. So here we go. 200 feet. Look, watch. She's going to come up like a beautiful beast. Oh, yeah. America. Check that out. Very nice. Cool. So, yes, of course, if you get too close to the surface, too, you'll give yourself away with uh, the wake and such. So you don't definitely definitely don't want to do that. Our uh, ships of, as well, our submarines are loaded up with, uh, with ASMs, as you saw, a few different types of weaponry. So we'll be using some of those in the future. I'm actually trying to... I'm gonna, I'm, if I get fast enough, I should be able to fly. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, there you go. That's the beautiful submarine here. And again, other ways you can detect enemy uh, enemy vessels, of course, is with your uh, your periscope, your ESM mast, and of course, radar is also very effective in ad identifying enemy aircraft. You can see enemy aircraft around. You can see uh, enemy ships around and all sorts of different things. So there you go, Los Angeles class taking a kill here today. Folks, if you want to see more, again, hit that like button. Let me know. It was an absolute pleasure uh, having you on my ship today. So thank you very much for joining me. And uh, stay tuned for more cold waters here on the channel. I'm going to probably burn through a couple of these quick missions first and then maybe go into the campaign as uh, time allows. But I absolutely love it. Highly recommend it for those of you who uh, really like uh, submarine warfare. There should be a Soviet campaign coming soon as well. So that's another thing to look forward to in the game. And with the ability to uh, go with like six different American submarines, there are also plenty of Soviet submarines as well that you can play as. So very cool. All right, thanks for joining me, everybody, and uh, I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.